Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the Daily Grind for Tuesday. That's right. Happy Taco Tuesday for everybody that celebrates. Mm, tacos. Mm, mm. Yum. <laughs> today, we don't have a ton of packages going out because we had 30 yesterday. And people haven't paid for their new ones. Mm, that's Thank right. Thank you. And so I decided that we would go over some of the stain treatment options that we use on various services in our reselling business. Hey. All right. So, so this is the Retro Clean. I never get the name of this right. I'm very sorry. But this <laughs> is Retro Clean, and it's my favorite cleaning product on the planet. Mm -hmm. So we have put like three or four tablespoons into this bucket of hot water. We're gonna stir it around with this wooden spoon and let it dissolve. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I use this for whites only. I've never tried it for anything else, so I can't recommend. Now look at this little guy. He's worth some money. He's a little bunny. <laughs> but he has seen much better days and I am very afraid to put him in the water, in the washer. So he's a Dakin from 1979. This is the perfect candidate for the soak. So whenever you hear me say, I gotta soak it. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. All right. All right. He's going in. And you can leave them in, <clears throat> just like submerge him. <laughs> you can leave him in this for up to 48 hours, and I normally do, depending on the level of dinge. So they will always kind of flow to the top. So you just flip it. Like every couple of hours, you flip it. And if you can leave this out in the sun, it's not very sunny here today. But if you can leave it out in the sun, that's even better. Okay. And then when this thing comes out, you can just rinse it. Don't put it in the washer if it's really delicate like this. I just rinse it with some water and then fluff him to dry. Meaning that I let him air dry most of the way. And then I take the blow dryer to him. Okay. I blow dry him. He gets a little <laughs> blowout at yeah. the end. Yeah, all right. Okay, so that's kind of like hands-off cleaning. Love it. So I try to soak something every day because there's always something needing to be soaked. Ain't that the truth? Okay. What so is going on over here with this assortment of cleaning products? Favorite things. Whoa. Okay. So this is my second favorite cleaner of all time. Okay. This is called Amadex, and it is to remove ink. Half of the time I'm trying to remove ink, it's because Dan has a clicky pen and he inks on our things. <laughs> Like ballpoint pens. That's why he's always clicking because of this. You know, he doesn't want me to have to clean it. But if you get ink pen or you buy something with ink pen on it, this will definitely, definitely, definitely work out for you. Sometimes it doesn't work on paper, but on fabric it's always worked for me. Okay. Love it. Okay. If you have some bought something where the color has bled, do you know what I mean? Like if it's stripes and the blue stripes have bled into the white. Yes. This is your best friend. Cool. This is the RIT color remover. You can get this on Amazon for a couple bucks. Okay. My favorite laundry detergent of all times. I'm not affiliated with this, so I don't I don't sell it. I buy mine on Amazon I, or Mercari, actually. This is the Norwex Ultra Power Plus detergent. Get in there. All right. This stuff is fragrance-free, and it is the best laundry detergent I've ever used. I have used this to, what do you call it, sweat clothes when you leave them in the bathtub? Basically the same thing I'm doing here when right. you soak things and you really, really get them clean. I've used it in that way, and I also use it in my front-loading washer. And my front loader has a soak pre-soak setting that I've also used it in. But sometimes I just use it for regular laundry. It's very, very good. Okay. I get mine on Mercari. <laughs> I don't have a representative or a <laughs> consultant. Or, it's the MLM. That's why I'm saying that. Uh, I don't, I don't uh -huh. know. I don't okay. know. Okay. okay. Sometimes things smell like mothballs, and I try not to use scents. But sometimes if it smells like mothballs, a better scent is better than a mothball. That is absolutely true. I use the from the laundress. This stuff is kind of expensive, but... Hold on. Let me get in there. Lord, does it work. I'm almost out. Here we go. All right. This is scented vinegar. Oh. So vinegar, we all know, well, most of us know, that takes away mothballs pretty great. But the scented kind makes it not smell like vinegar afterwards. There you go. There you so go. So clean and deodorize. I love this stuff. I'm almost out. I need to get another one. They're about... I don't know, maybe like 15 bucks. It's kind of expensive. What's not expensive are these Carbonas. Now, these things are super cool, and they're $2 each at the grocery store and on Amazon. So you figure out what the stain is, grass, dirt, and makeup for this little bottle. Mm -hmm. This is if you know what the stain is. Coffee, tea, wine, and juice. I see. 
fat and cooking oil, okay. which normally... So they're all, like, specialized. Yes, and they're only a couple bucks, so I buy them all. Chocolate, ketchup, and mustard. That's so strange. Blood, dairy, and ice cream. That, 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 mm -hmm. okay. Motor oil, tar, and lubricant. Ink, marker, and crayon. This might be the same as Amidex, but I've actually never used this one. Okay. I'll report back. This is my favorite one, and it's almost gone. Rust and perspiration. Oh, all right. Okay, so I... I'll it's very you. strange that the same thing that gets out rust also gets out sweat stains. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my second laundry favorite, or well, third laundry favorite, is this Shout Color Catcher. So I do not do a load of laundry without one, and normally I buy the big box. These are amazing. Yep. You have to have them, especially if you're doing a load of, like, we got all these high-end clothings, and if I don't want to wash one at a time, and I want to make sure that they're safe, I'll put one in every single load. It catches the color so they don't bleed onto one another. Good tip. Okay, hydrogen peroxide from the Dollar Tree. Yep. This is my first go-to in every single uh, surface stain. Meaning if you can like, <laughs> yeah, if you can crunch it with your finger, like kind of scratch it off, peroxide. Very, very quickly. Not a lot of it because it does have a bleaching effect if you leave it on and you saturate it. But right. we use it on sport coats a lot with a Q-tip. We just take a little Q-tip, dip it in here, and ee -ee, like if somebody dropped a meatball, that's how you get it. And it rolled down, yeah. But not a lot. You got to just get a little bit on Q-tip. Yep. Very, very surface. Okay. I love this OxyClean Max Force. This is great for uh, meatball stains as well. If you can't use the peroxide to get them all. We call them meatball stains, but a lot of times we find that there's like a a red spot and then a red spot and then a red spot. And and it, like, there's like a downward trajectory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we call them meatball stains. Oh, wow. I love this because the brush like gets down. Yeah, it's like a really hard, like coarse plastic brush. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, grandma's the OG. We have the sneaker version of this for shoes and we have the laundry version. Okay. If grandmas can't get it, I don't you know. You might as well throw it in the trash. This is also <laughs> great for laundry. The Dawn Power Wash. I love this because it has that grease fighting power. Yes. And it's kind of like OxyClean, but in a stain treatment, it foams up and it's supposed to release. And it does work really well on clothing. Baby wipes are my favorite for plush. I get these at the Dollar Tree. And finally, Folex. Folex. This is a cleaner that you don't have to rinse. What? And so if you have plush that need this that can't be washed or something like that, this is a really, really good option. And it's for carpet, as it says. Well, the plush is kind of carpet. It kind of is carpet. <laughs> so I've been using this on stuff that can't be washed, and it's been working pretty well. This is a new-to-me product. All right. You're giving away all the secrets today. I know, right? We're going to have everything linked below. Dan's going to do really well at that. Now, I wanted to show you guys this. We talked about this brand, Eskandar. Let me get in on that label, because that's important for the people. There you go. Okay. Okay, we talked about this, and it's really... The, it's the best brand. It really is like the best brand you could ever <laughs> find because this sweater probably retailed for two grand or something, but it is thrashed, like no good. I cannot sell this sweater, not even a little bit. There's like this ring up here. There's spots here. Oh, that's bad. It's really bad. This sweater has seen... Oh, yeah, there's the spots, yep. Mm -hmm. I, and I know that I'm not going to get top dollar for this, but I do want to kind of try to resurrect it. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I would do. If this works, great. If it doesn't, this is my life. We're showing you the daily grind. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Right. And also, just to, I mean, we, this is part of the stuff that we got at an estate sale. So mm -hmm. we paid about, on average, about a little over $3 a piece for this stuff. Right. So if it does end up not getting cleaned and getting ruined or whatever, it's, we're not, we're not out a huge, you know, it's not a huge loss. Whoa. This thing has seen like maybe an apocalypse or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, that looks really bad. So a lot of the clothes from this haul, from this lot that we got, have these same kind of stains. I can't figure out what it is, whether it's... Somebody had mentioned in our Facebook group that it might be self-tanner, and other people were like medical iodine. I don't know what it is, but the last time, the last three items I did, I literally put every single one of these <laughs> on it because I didn't know... I was like, is it rust and perspiration? Well, that's obviously what I'm going to start with around the neck. But I think it might be some kind of, like people were saying, like a self-tanner mm -hmm. because it is so prominent. These things are like childproof. Okay, all right. so all you do with these, some of them are powder and some of them are liquid. And you just like dab it. 
So you can tell this has been dry cleaned. Look at this stuff beating up. Yep. I mean, this is just what I do. <laughs> and I just try every single thing that I know to do. Because there's, like, like Dan was saying, there's little risk here. Big payoff if I can figure it out because yep. this is like going to be my test if i can figure out what this stuff is see this is a little scrapey scrapies what i was talking about so i'm going to try the peroxide on this because i if i got my fingernail in there mm -hmm. i could get it i see there's okay. it's on the surface you yeah. know what i mean yeah 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 okay so i just dip my q-tip in there we're gonna see that's how you know you have lift off, literally lift off. Uh, that's kind of okay. Well, it's coming off it's on the Q-tip. It's staying on the Q-tip, right? Can you see it better now? Mm, not really. Okay, great. And I very, oh yeah, <laughs> very rarely use anything but Q-tips. I don't really use that brush on a knit, like the brush from the shout, because it's a knit. You don't want to disturb the stitches. So as you can see, that's coming out yep. the surface. Now there's going to be a residual stain there that I'm going to have to take care of. But the surface, like the gunk, the hydrogen peroxide helps to lift that right on off. And you want to, I mean, if this is a thousand dollar thing you're doing, you want to patch test it first, obviously. Don't listen to some lady on the internet. <laughs> but like I said, little risk here. Right. Okay. So that's cool interesting now see how it's all around the edges here yes i can see that yeah. i am thinking that it's some kind of leave a comment below if you know what this stuff might be and how i can treat it because is this lifting i need to know so what i'm doing is just rubbing in that um perspiration carbona and i keep looking at the q-tip to see if it's coming off because that means that stain is not set. It is not looking like it's coming off. No. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna put everything on it because I don't know what it is. So I think I don't think it's ink marker or crayon, though maybe I should use this one because if it's a self-tanner, uh -huh. that's kind of an ink or something, right? I mean, kinda. Y'all have to tune back in tomorrow and see if any of this works. Because I do have to let it sit for quite a long time. Yep. I mean, I'm not even getting half of it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and then coffee, tea, wine, or juice. Maybe it's that. I don't know. I should only try one. At, oh, that's a powder. I can't use that one right now. Motor oil, blood, dairy, ice cream, chocolate, ketchup, mustard. I don't think it's any of those. Okay, so I'll use that. I'm gonna put this shout on here since it's all, I wouldn't put this on the delicate knit, but this is the collar. It's like a little more substantial. Oh my God, I use so much. You could also use like a soft bristle toothbrush if you wanted to. Absolutely. And we have a bunch of those in our cleaning kit. Yep. Yeah. You don't need this special shout product for however much it's going for on eBay right now. Oops. Okay. The shout's getting it out. Okay. Do you see how light, much lighter it is? Kind of. I mean, it's so wet. Focus. Okay, there we go. But it is, uh, it is lifting is okay. the word I use. I don't know that this is going to eliminate it completely. And again, okay, so if you see here, can you get in there? Yeah, yeah. Now. It is lifting. You yep. can see that that went away, right? Yep. On the very edge here, it's going to be problematic, but I'm not sure whether it was this, 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 or, you know, if it's just the brush. Right. We're not sure which product actually did the trick. Right. That's why I just wanted to give you an overview and show you all the products that I use because I like to have samplings for <laughs> any occasion. And I, I really do pride myself on getting out stains and resurrecting. If we're resellers, most of us are in it to like try to save things from the landfill. So exactly it's right. part of the part of the game so that looks a lot better already mm, yep and i'm hopeful i'm not going to show you guys this whole thing but i'm hopeful that if i do this whole thing we can at least sell it as a flawed item because even flawed this is worth like 50 bucks probably a little more even. yeah i mean like minimum right yeah. if i yeah, can get it i mean there was just recently a post in 
one of the Facebook groups, eBay Thrifters maybe, where somebody else had come across a couple of Eskandar pieces and with holes and was still sold them for a couple of hundred dollars. See? And you gotta let this stuff sit. Don't just automatically assume it's not gonna come out. Uh, this is probably a dry clean only piece and I very rarely listen to that unless it's like boiled wool. <laughs> uh, I normally put things on delicate in our washer and then I hang hang dry. Right. Okay, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I have about 100 things I need to stain treat. Oh. And I'm trying to do a couple a day to just get caught up on it because that whole... We couldn't not get them. We saw the stains. We knew what we were getting into. Right. But I also was like, challenge accepted. Oh, I wanted to show you baby wipes on a plush real quick. Okay, okay. Because everybody always asks me about this. This plush is not worth a lot, so... But I did want to list it because we have it. It's just got, like, child schmutz on it. That's all <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, can you see, like, this? Yeah, I can kind of see that. Yeah, it's the contrast is a little difficult to see on the pink, but... So basically, if it won't come off with a baby wipe, then I throw it in the wash if we can. But most of it, see, it comes right off. Yeah. The dirt just comes right off. And this is all I do. Literally just scrub it with a baby wipe. All over. So this, do you see the staining? You can hold on. Let me try to focus in on that. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Yep. And these are like not special baby wipes. They're literally from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. There it is on my baby wipe yep. and it's gone. So I would never claim that this is freshly laundered in my listing. And I would never say like clean because that implies that it's new or that I've washed it. But uh, if it's just like little spots like that, at least now I can list it. And, and I feel a little better about it. I feel a little better. <laughs> I mean, I will say it's pre-owned and all of that, but at least now... This kind of thing doesn't need a soak, and it's not worth a lot. I just spent about 60 seconds doing this. Can you see the dirt? Um, not really, because it's... There we go. Yep. Okay. It comes... It just comes right off, no matter what. This... Um, squishmallows, you can throw those in the wash, but it's just had a little spot. And most of the time, the spot is from the thrift store. It's not from a kid. It's, like, from falling on the ground in the dust, you know? So it's not set in stains, like I was mentioning before. Anyway... So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to clean a bunch of stuff. All right. So that we can list it and save it from the landfill. Okay. On to shipping. On to shipping. I'm gonna... All right. We are at the shipping station. Have everything ready to pack up. Uh, this is the one shirt from yesterday that we sent the message to the buyer about the ring around the collar. Um, we printed the label yesterday to kind of buy us a little bit of extra time hope, in hopes that the buyer would respond. They didn't respond to us, so we are going to just pack it up and ship it out and roll the dice on this one. I think even refunding him is better than getting a ding on eBay. I, yeah, totally. Yeah, because I would rather, you know, have the guy, have to refund the guy than have yeah have our account dinged for a late late shipment. No, a cancel. It would or be a cancellation. cancellation, which would be terrible. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because he, the, the point is the buyer didn't ask to cancel. Yeah. And that's what we were trying to prompt him to do. And if, since he didn't, he's just going to have to ask for a return. And that's a much better hit on our <laughs> eBay store than a cancellation. If you're new to eBay, cancellations are horrible. Yeah, especially, I mean, we did, you know, we did get our top rated seller status. And maintaining that, it really does help, um does help your listings if you have a top right rate, top rated status and maintaining that is i wouldn't say it's difficult but you know one or two mishaps and you could lose your top rated seller status for three months or whatever <clears throat> You didn't know you show people what that was. Ounces. That was the Kuji shirt. <laughs> we, <laughs> I showed it over there. Okay. All right. So that brand does well, does better with sweaters. This was a dress shirt. I think it sold for 18. Yeah. Is it 18? I think so. Yeah, let me see. 25. 25. 25. Okay. It's okay, but I would suggest really looking for the sweaters. 
like the ones from I don't know the Cosby Show or Full House or whatever. Those those do much better. Yes. Okay, this I think we got this at the bins, right? Uh, no, I got this at Thrift Giant when all the costumes were one dollar. Oh, that's right. So it was post Halloween. So this I was is, so excited. Yeah, this is a kid's Boba Fett costume. There we go. And this thing sold internationally for forty bucks. It's going to I think Denmark. And the total, I mean the. The price was 40 bucks, and the total the buyer paid was like 90-something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You definitely need a box. <laughs> it's going to stay in this box right here. Oh, you don't want a box? Huh? I think it can stay in this box. Is that a regional box? That's a medium flat rate. No way, man. No way. Y'all, you got to think about this. So, this is only going to Kentucky, but that medium flat rate is expensive. Expensive. And uh, it's you're right. just about the same dimensions as a, another priority box. Like a regional box or even... I'm sure that this could fit into something that is less expensive than that medium flat rate. I swear it's like $17 or something crazy. Let me check right now. Yeah, yeah why don't so, we check? So uh, a flat rate medium box would be $13.83. $13.83. And this thing only weighs one pound, three ounces. And uh, look at that. A regional B is $12.10. Saving so that money. And what about just like a regular priority or like that kind of a thing? Like if we... Like if I gave you a Chewy box or something. Does it matter if we... Is it cheaper? This is my question. Okay. Is it cheaper to use your own box even if it's the same dimensions as a priority box? Or is it the same? Are you paying to use their box? That's what I'm asking. No. So like let's see. Let's do it. Let's do a little test. Okay. Since we have a little extra time. We do have a little extra time. There's only three things to pack up. So like let's say I want to use this Amazon box. Okay. That's about right. It does. How so, much would that be? I'm just, I just have a, you it's, know. It's dependent on, yeah, size and weight, of course. So let's see. This guy weighs one pound, 11 ounces. It shows you how much a box weighs, because it was one pound, three ounces. I know, right? So we changed this priority mail, one pound, 11 ounces. And what are the dimensions of this box? Okay, let's measure. And then I want to try one more thing after this. Sure. 11, 13, 5. 11, 13, 5. So that's eight dollars eighty-five cents. You guys, we're paying to use their boxes. <laughs> I always wondered, but I ne we were always in such a hurry. So if we use our own boxes, way cheaper. Than a regional, for sure. Than a regional or a flat rate. A f absolutely cheaper than a flat rate. Okay. Yes. So now I, the thing I want to try is if we were to put this in a poly bag, the old box in a bag on, on what is that thing called? Pirate ship. Oh, I see. I want to do the experiment because everybody tells us, use a big old poly. I got a big poly. I got a big one. <laughs> I got a big one right Whoa. here. Okay. So I think you measure the dimensions of it, this yeah you do so two feet so 24 That's by 18. Right, 18 well it says 24. 19 19 19 by 24 yeah okay so now on on pirate ship are you on pirate ship uh-huh so d it would be under dimensional mm -hmm. it says box in a bag i've done it before no, no, i know, I know okay I know. okay just explain what you're doing. Um, type of packaging, box in bag, length 18, I thought you said 19. Yeah, 19, the length is 24. 19 by 24. What's the weight? One pound, 12 ounces yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah. I just want to know. So the rate on, oh, it can't be larger than 18 in any direction. So we'll just put 18. 18 by 18. No, 18 by 24. Oh. Okay, okay. Then let me. For envelopes larger than 18 inches in either dimension, you must use the box package type and enter all three dimensions. Okay, so let's see if it'll fit in something smaller. I just grabbed this because it was like. Y'all, you're here for the experiment. Testing it out. All right, well, you. Oh, this one's humongo. Okay, so you can't do a humongo. Right. That's why people say small, heavy things. This is not small or heavy, but I'm just interested. <laughs> I actually think this could go in a poly. It doesn't need to go in a box. So, what's this one? 
What about this eBay one? Let's, let's just say it fit in here, okay? Okay. 18 by 14. Okay. That would be on pirate ship, box in a bag, $8.95. Is that cheaper or more expensive? That is 10 cents more expensive. All right, you heard it here. So we're, we'll keep trying these little, uh, what do you call it, experiments, and let you know, because I'm always interested to know. And if you have any advice, I know a lot of you use pirate ship, leave it down below. But for us, every time we do this, it's, I know this isn't a small heavy thing. I know that rule, but I just wanted to try it. Okay, so the box it is. Yes, the box it is. And I need you to organize this. I just messed that up. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's worth it because we just saved like four bucks just trying different boxes. Yep. And so, I bet you if we tried a smaller box, we could even get it down a couple more cents. But then time is money and whoa. Right. So but four bucks. Gonna, this one's good to go in the box. It's good to go. So I think I think the moral is like take your time if you can when shipping because the speed is the same. They pay for priority. We're shipping a priority. It was just the box that was different. Yeah. Nothing else changed. Y'all, this, this tape from Amazon called Tape King. Don't get it. <laughs> you might want to get it because it's called Tape King and it sounds magical. It's not. It smells terrible. I mean, it does stick, which the eBay tape didn't. <laughs> right. I but mean, it it's his basic is, job. <laughs> it will give you a migraine. At least it does. Woo! Really. It's, it's rough. All right, really... get it out of here. Get this box out of here. And where is our friend? The bubble. Okay, so you need a little box for those. Right. Wait, how little are they? Could they go in this? Um. Just do it. I'm wondering, because this is a little bit deep. Okay, you're like going for it. Well, the lady wrote me a paragraph. Would you like, did you care to share with the group? About, <laughs> about uh, how I should take extreme care and wrap them very, very well. And please be careful because she can't stand the thought of depression glass surviving this long and then getting broken in the mail. Hey, I agree with her. I mean, I'm like on her teeth. Yeah, man. So I'm going to wrap each one of these individually with bubble and then probably wrap them together with more bubble on the outside. Where is it going? Uh, these are going to Charlottesville, Virginia. Ayo! <laughs> thumbs up if you love Charlottesville. All the thumbs, all the thumbs. And I believe she paid for priority mail, so we could put the, you know, put these in a... I was looking for one of the... In like a 6x6. Six six. Oh, 6x6. Six six. I thought we had 8x8s eight eight or something. No. Uh, let's see. Where'd it go? Here we go. One of these guys. So these from priority mail. Did you guys hear about the flat rates? Ah! Word on the street is they're canceling flat rate envelopes. As padded, a, padded, padded as, as for free. You can't get them for free anymore. They're going to start charging because people were using them for packing material. So annoyed. So we have we have not confirmed this. This is just word on the street. That's why I said word on the street. Yep. This is seven by seven by six. Yes. So I'm just going to wrap, wrap these up again. In the bubble together. <laughs> One of our subscribers said she cringes when you do glassware. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's cringing right now. We gotta put paper in the box. We gotta find some paper. I'm gonna find it. I listen to you guys. I really appreciate all the tips. We we don't take any offense to them. We take them all to heart. Like, oh my gosh, she's right. <laughs> That's a good thing about doing daily videos. That's we true. We get better daily. I think. I'd like to think. <laughs> Y'all, I can't use the tape. I'll try. Okay. Oh, I did it. Uh -oh. I did it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, she said put paper down. I mean, you don't have... Yeah. How about I, I was going to use... I was just going to use one little wrapping of the large bubble. Instead of paper. Are those underwear? How in the hell are underwear back here? <laughs> I don't want to know. What did, what did you just ask? There are underwear back here. What? I don't know. It must be from the bins hall with those stuffed animals where you don't know where they are. <laughs> here, I think if, this is going to be good enough, I think. Because if I put the big bubble Did around, you hear that, y'all? Good enough. What I'm saying... Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, should we drop test it? Like in middle school with the egg? Oh, I remember that. Get we could test all, everyone's shipping theories with the egg. Yeah. And see what works best. That would be a video. Though. I love it. It's the best. Your egg would have survived. <laughs> I think my egg did survive. I think mine had a pair of shoes or something. I can't remember. That's how it's done. Is it how it's done? Yeah, man. Does it fit in the box? Watch. <laughs> this is Dan's favorite. No, you gotta go the other way. He always says this and then it won't fit in the box. It's a specialty. Okay, now we gotta fill the void. Don't do that. Don't do that. But there's I know, but you should still put something there in case it like floppies. Okay. Alright. Yield to the white. Is there a little bit of paper or something? I don't have any paper. We really need to get some paper. There's a pair <laughs> of underwear. No, don't do those. I don't know. What, what about that bag of uh, shredded shredded Z's? Thank you. Yeah. Saving these. Should we just put them in the bag? No. No, she'll appreciate it. This lady will appreciate it. She's from Charlottesville. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too much. That's way too much. I bet you if I take it out of the bag, it's not too much. Because we only need it like here in the sides. Hey, no, there's a little crevice. Everyone's on my team. I know, I know everybody's on your They're team. They're shouting from the rooftops. We should have put some in the bottom. Y'all, she only paid $20 for this stuff. <laughs> they were so delicately packing. I'm sorry, 18 Okay. Okay. It's taped up. There we go. Perfect. One pound, two ounces, seven, seven, six. And what was the. Didn't you already put it in? Yeah, but I had to reload it because it was a. It timed out, so I gotta redo it. Okay. I'm sorry. It's one pound, 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces. That's weird. What's that? It's less this time. What was the? One pound, 11 ounces. Okay. You have to move your butt. It is 13 and a half, so 14 by 11. Five. Five. Okay. This last one, one pound, two ounces, seven, seven, six. That's funny. What? The the glass box is more expensive than the uh, than the coffee. Did you put that it was in a priority box? No. 
Virginia is further than Kentucky. That's why. Not much, though. They're neighbors. I'm just wondering if it knows we're using the box. I literally... No, it can't. How does it not know? I just put in the size. But when you use the... Oh, I guess it was a regional. Yeah, a regional or a flat rate, it knows. Yeah, okay. So this is the Coogee shirt. This is the baby foot costume. This is the depression glass. There we go. Okay, everybody. Quick, quick shipment stuff today. Yes. Yes. More time to list. That's right. And now it's time. It's everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite time. The moment with Mojo. <laughs> Coming up. See ya. Bye. Bye. On today's moment with Mojo, what do you have to say, buddy? I gotta go to the post office. Say bye. Good boy. All right, I've made it home from the post office, dropping off our whopping four packages. It's okay. We have a really good sale. Hopefully someone pays for it. Yes. For tomorrow. We were hoping they would pay before today, but it's a really good one. Yep. And where do you guys get boxes? Yeah. Let us know in the comments, please, um, because we are desperate. We have tapped out our neighbor's resources. We keep putting posts up, and then we go around bulk trash day. <laughs> We've got all the small boxes in our entire neighborhood, <laughs> Yeah. and they're out, and we need them. I think it would save us so much time. Like, as in yesterday, uh -huh. we would have saved so much time if we had had boxes. Yeah, yesterday's video would have only been like, an hour instead of an hour and a half <laughs> but you guys are watching it so that's cool also let us know below all the feedback and if you prefer long videos because it looks like you do it looks like you do i was skeptical right <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us and we will see you back here on the grind tomorrow bye, bye.